Hey YouTube, Repo Man 64. How exciting is this the time that we're in right now? Tomorrow on 11-11, Noah gets off the ark. That's what it shows on my timeline when I start the year on March 17th. That's what it comes to. And what's awesome this year and makes it a lot easier for me than explaining this every time is that my timeline is actually matching to the Hebrew calendar. So Noah gets off the ark on November the 11th. And I found a few things and I want to show them to you. I want to remind you that you all have gifts. Every single one of you, every watcher has a gift. And it's not the same gift. We all have different gifts. Some of you have like the wildest dreams and, and visions and stuff. I don't have that. I wouldn't discount it. Um, I wouldn't bank the rapture solely on, you know, somebody's dream. But we did see that child over there in Israel that had a near-death experience. And he had a whole vision that took place. And they were telling him, if you're here for long, I think you can go see that actually on uh, Ken Potter's channel. And uh, he does a voiceover uh, on it. And based on just his dream alone, we're in that season. You know that uh, <clears throat> five years ago, the earth rang like a bell. Did that tell us the rapture was going to happen? You know that six years ago, over six years now, uh, they saw the Revelation 12 sign. So what I'm trying to get at is that. Like I had a comment, which I don't care. It doesn't bother me that your rapture dates keep failing. You're right. I've failed 100% of the time. But I'm not here trying to convince anybody of the rapture. What I'm here to do is to keep you looking up. Keep looking up and keep watching and keep hoping that tomorrow is the day and who knows, we might say, oh, it's coming in three days, and it happens tomorrow. We don't know. At this point, we're still watching. The stuff that's going on in Israel is biblical. The Bible explained to us what was going to happen in Gaza. It is happening. Cool Cat Kelly, call him Commander Kelly over there. Uh, he uh, has matched up the Psalms with the years, indicating that this has to be the year. We're coming to the very end. We literally have, as of November the 11th, I believe we have 50 days left until the end of the Gregorian year. And then we have 125 days left until the end of the Hebrew year, which happens on March 17th. Um, so <clears throat> I just want to encourage you to keep watching, keep staying excited. Keep dreaming of that moment when it happens. We're going to be standing here one minute, old, breaking down, sore, in pain, hungry, homeless. I mean, you name it, stuff that's going on to people right now, or that's happening to people right now. And then the next second, you'll be standing in heaven in a glorified body, standing there with your creator. And I, I'll be speechless. I'll, I, I can, I'm sitting here thinking of a thousand things that I'll say when I get there. I'm going to be like, I won't know what to say. I'm going to look at my arms, no more saggy skin. I'll be 30 again, strong, you know, built up. And uh, it's going to be amazing. This is going to be absolutely amazing. And that's what we're looking forward to. And I say, God forgive us if we keep dreaming about it might be this because of this and it might be that because of that. But I encourage everyone to keep watching and keep searching for things um, that might indicate our next date. And that's the most awesome journey that we're all in. And I would never allow anyone to come on here and say, well, just because you're seeing that doesn't mean it could be the rapture. It very well could be. Don't take that to the bank. Take your gift and share it. Share it in the comment section and we'll just keep trying to put it together. And honestly, Amos 3.7 is abundantly clear and Revelation 3.3 3 is abundantly clear. God is going to tell us. We are going to know. And I think we do. I think we know we're in it right now. We're in the season right now. 
Does it specifically state that he's going to tell us the day and the hour? I don't know. But in Revelation 3.3, 3, it says, if you don't watch, you will not know the day or the hour, indicating that if you do watch, you will know the day or the hour. So I'm going to give you a day and an hour. I didn't find it. Another YouTube did. I loved his YouTube. I love what he did. He's actually a doctor. And um, I shy away, honestly, from personally, and this is me personally, I shy away from people who's not smarter than me, which that's a lot of people. No, I shy away from people who think they're smarter. I, they've become so smart that they're missing out on the most basic things. And, and here's the thing. Most of us aren't that most of us don't possess that high of an IQ. We go to work, we come home, we pay our bills, we go to work, we come home. We, we're just living day to day, right? And you get this person, and this doctor is awesome, by the way. He's, he's smarter than I am, but he talks to me as a human being as at my level. He doesn't get on there and showboat like, I'm smarter than you. I figured this out. And if you think any differently than I do, then there's something wrong with you. And those are the kind of people I shy away from, honestly. I like just normal people doing normal research, trying to figure this out. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to keep doing it. I'm not going to stop. No comment. <laughs> I, I still haven't figured out the rapture date. I'm sorry. I'm trying. All right, let's get to the pictures. We'll start uh, about right here. Where are we at right now? We are right here. The timeline shows November the 10th. That, like I've said many times before, is there is a one day glitch that begins to happen back here in September. I think it's because. Look, th this is why I think it is. Check this out. I don't know if everybody knows this or not, but let's go to Genesis right here. Let's go to the first day and the evening at the bottom there of the first day of light. First of all, this is the day. God created a light. What did he create here? He created the angels here because he didn't create the sun until down here on the fourth day. He created light and Satan is called an angel of light. He was an angel of light when he was created. He fell, but that doesn't negate the fact that he created all the angels on the first day. This is where the first day was. And here is... um. Also notice towards the end, and the evening and the morning were the first day. God has set up from the very beginning that at nightfall is when the day begins. So we could say the first day of creation we know happened on a Sunday. When did Sunday begin? It began Saturday night at nightfall. Yes, there's no sun. God doesn't need the sun to know what a day is. And yes, it was 24 hours. It was a day. So on the first day, what would be nightfall by the fourth day, he, cre he created the angels. That was the light he created. So he begins everything at nightfall. So I run into this issue here when I get down here because most of these events are happening at nightfall. Hanukkah begins at nightfall on December the 7th, become December the 8th. September the 15th, Tishri 1, the Feast of Trumpets, begins at nightfall on September the 15th. So you can see why we run into this. So November the 10th is at nightfall becoming November the 11th. What happens at nightfall on, for example, November the 11th? With the one day off thing, this is happening on November the 11th. Noah was on that ark for one year and 10 days. So on November the 11th, at nightfall in Israel, I would suspect that we will see something. A rapture? I don't know. Is it going to be a rapture? Is it going to be a, a something huge that takes place that will direct our attention? Will it be uh, um, Damascus, uh, some kind of a comet somewhere? What Something will pop up, I believe, on that day. So we'll keep watching, right? So that's where we're at now on that. And here, same thing. Um, Sister Sandy is actually working with uh, Cool Cat to, to build a timeline for him. I think I think the one I'm about to show you is the one she built for him. I'm not sure. But we're right here coming up on November the 11th right now. And remember, 
The earth rang like a bell on November the 11th in 2018. It did it for 20 minutes and it did it every 17 seconds. And I'm going to show you a, the, that doctor who, who uh, I didn't know that they finally figured out what caused it. There was a volcano that erupted under the ocean, which is what caused that ringing every 17 seconds for 20 minutes, which is 70 rings, by the way. To that, let's see. Oh, I, I guess I didn't have to go all the way there and show you right here. And the evening and the morning were the first day. He begins creation at nightfall. The second day he would have began creation as well. So I wanted to take you back through this. The Bible is abundantly clear that 150 days after the flood begins, Jesus is on the cross. 150 days after the flood begins, the water begins to subside. 153 days after the flood begins, the ark lands on Mount Ararat. Just three days later, it's the same day Jesus rose. That's why it's in the Bible. That's why it's there. And if the Bible says it's 150 days from uh, Heshvan 17, forget about my date of October the 31st or November the 1st. Forget about that. Just Heshvan 17. If it's Heshvan 17, you simply count 150 days, right? If you count 150 days, where do you land? March 30th. This is the day I say Jesus went to the cross. He went to the cross on 3, 30, uh, 30 AD at 3 p.m. All threes. 3, 30, 30 AD at 3 p.m. That's when he went to the cross. He was exactly 33 years and 182 days old. 33 and a half years old when he went. His ministry lasted three and a half years. He spent 84 hours, which is three and a half days in the grave. Everything lines up with March 30th. Passover. They're calling it in 2024 on April the 22nd to start. They didn't count right. The Bible's very clear that from November the 1st, when the flood begins, because they've agreed this year, they have agreed that, yes, the flood began on October the 31st, November the 1st. If you count 150 days on my timeline, it lands on March 30th. But on theirs, they are 23 days too late. Why are they wrong? The Bible was abundantly clear. Are we going to listen to the Bible or are we going to listen to this the, the, the calendar, which is why I keep saying we don't use the sliver of the moon. We never use the sliver of the moon. If they're saying that it begins on April 22nd, they are off by 23 days, then this event will not land at the cross, just like the Bible teaches. 150 days later, it lands on the cross. 153 days later, in the seventh month and 17th day, which is our first month and 17th day, is the day Jesus rose. It's the day that the ark landed on Mount Ararat. Well, maybe it's just a a glitch. <clears throat> Let's take another look. In 2024, they show that um, Heshvan 17 will land on November the 18th, not October the 31st or November the 1st. They're 17 days ahead in 2024. If they are 17 days ahead, let's just say, okay, let's believe them. Let's say that, th that this their timeline is accurate and mine's wrong then that would mean that to adhere to the 150 days to Jesus on the cross, it would have to happen on April the 16th because it's 150 days. Let's see what they say. Oh, darn, they're off by four days again in 2025 when uh, Passover starts. April the 12th, April the 16th. How did they get that wrong when the Bible clearly says 150 days after the flood that we reached the day the water uh, began to uh, recede? All right, Heshon 17 in 2025 will be on November the 8th. They are a week late. The flood is on November the 1st. But if we go 150 days, just like they say to do, it should land on April the 7th, right? I mean, I still say March 30th, but they're a week late, so they're on April 7th, 150 days later. Yep, April 9th, April 1st, I mean. Uh, the evening of Wednesday, April the 1st, uh, April the 1st, they are seven days off. They are wrong by seven days. They are not obeying what the 
Bible tells us in the flood account. So what is this? Oh, I did some math from um, assuming that my timeline is accurate, which I do. Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement, always lands on September the 24th. If you count 2,520 days, you will land on October the 31st. So that just passed. Are we in a 10, 11 day holding pattern right now since the, since the, when you count backwards from September, and many are saying, so many are saying that on, on, on Day of Atonement in 2030 will be the end of the tribulation. So if you count back from the end of the tribulation, you will land on October the 31st. We are, right now, we're 10 days past that. As of tomorrow, it will be 11 days. So, Or as of sunset today, it became 11 days. If you count from the flood and you go forward... 2,550 days, you'll land on October the 24th. This is also interesting because that's the day the flood begins. And if you count forward 2,550 days, you will land on the day that Noah is ordered into the ark and the ark door stays open. So are we in a 10-day period of time right now? I don't know. Mr. MBB333 had a uh, video of this. Uh, somebody took an, a picture of this. Uh, the image below, of course, is uh, something they're comparing it to, but the ones above just look like angels. Are we to ignore this and pretend like this isn't something that we are to look? Look at those, that cloud formation. It's impossible. They look like angels. They look just like angels up there. I mean, Seriously, look at this. You see a head. You see two arms. You see the uh, the uh, robe that he's wearing. You see two feet down there at the bottom. That's that's absolutely incredible. Are the angels getting ready right now as we speak to come pick us up? It's just incredible. You can go watch that on Mr. MB, Mr. MBB333's uh, YouTube. And... Uh, Judge for yourself. Did you know November 9th is 9-11 backwards? 11-9? <laughs> I was like, oh, that'd be a perfect moment for a rapture. <laughs> Didn't happen. All right. The world was created. Now, everybody's trying to use the 6,000 years. I haven't done a lot of work on this, but this is a little bit of work that I've done here. The world was created in 4004 B.C. And in 2030 is when the end of this 6,000 year period is going to happen. But there's 33 years extra in there, you say. There's an extra 33 years. Why is there an extra 33 years in there? It's because of Jesus' time here. He was here for 33 years. And remember, God turned back time in Exodus 12 from September the 15th back to March 17th. So you have this six-month period of time that keeps showing up, and that's, that's why, right there, 33 and a half years. Did you know that, like, uh, Isaiah 53's YouTube channel uh, is always showing us, we say that Israel came into existence on May 14th, 1948. But then if you continue to read, it says, and when all the trees were there, the trees are nations. All of that happened actually on May 11th of 1949, three days shy of one year. If you count from May 11th and take back those six months that God moved time back, you land on November the 11th. May 11th to November the 11th will be 74 years and six months. So you see a theme going on in there with the time. So there you go, May 11th to November the 11th. It is 74 years, six months, and one day, which is why I'm saying at nightfall on uh, the 11th, it'll be the end of that day. Uh, I saw this. Somebody said, I don't remember where I got this, honestly, but somebody did the gematria value of, and when these things begin 
to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. 11.11 Could this be just a simple fulfillment of Amos 3.7? I don't discount people seeing 11.11. I don't think there's any goofy internal clock making you do it. I swear I'll be working. My hands will be filled with work, not even thinking about pulling out my phone and looking at my time on my night. I'm not even pulling it out to look at the time. I'm pulling it out to see if I got any messages from Spinebreaker because he comes up with some amazing things during the daytime. And uh, and uh, Tony as well from the, the Cataclysm, Tony Early. And I'm, I'm just kind of catching up on messages. And inevitably, that one moment, I will be free. I don't think I can make I don't think my brain makes me do things like that. To see 11.11, no, God is stopping me from whatever I'm doing at the exact right moment to pull my phone out, not just to see 11.11, but that it just became 11.11, and I have an entire minute to snap a shot of it, because normally I go in, I hit it, and I'm like, wait a minute, did that just say 11.11? And I have to shut my phone back off and turn it back on so that it shows me the time and the date, and then I can take a, photo, a photocopy of it, and it never, ever happens that I miss the 11.11. It never, I, ne I never go, oh, darn, it turned over to 11.12 before I could, you know, snap that shot of my screen. You know what I'm saying? It's always there. I think this is, I'm not sure, I don't want to speak out of turn, but this is from Commander Kelly, Cool Cat. Uh, cool Cat's uh, YouTube. Uh, I think this might be what uh, Sister Sandy put together for him. It's really cool. Um, you can get this in his. Uh, he had, he uses the app called Clapper. I use the app called Discord. Um, we were discussing maybe he could start a Discord. It's probably best he starts a Discord because you can actually do a lot more in Discord than you can his app. You can't even enlarge a picture in his app. But uh, he can do all the same. He can do more things in Discord. But at any rate, this is something he put in there, and it's so cool. It's so cool. It shows all of the uh, the seals, the trumpets, and the bowls uh, judgments. So it's all in there, and he's got a lot of information uh, of things that he sees coming up. Here's the guy. Go, go subscribe to his YouTube channel. He did an amazing study here, uh, Rapture Warning 1111, and he's got some evidence besides just 1111, and he explains 1111 much the, the day of the earth rang like a bell much better than I do. Um, so it's a, and he still, he believes in a 2023 Harpazo. His name is Dr. Chris Zimmer, and uh, this is what he came up with. His entire video, he, he goes through and he analyzes it, and this is what he comes up to. That on November the 11th, 20, and for all you uh, full state rapture uh, accusers, uh, man, are you going to be shocked when it finally happens? Boy, are you going to be, you're going to have egg on your face and the, you know, the tribulation on your face, but you'll have egg on your face. November the 11th, 2023, at 8.53 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, which is 10.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10.53. Tomorrow morning, 10.53 a.m. That's uh, that's pretty incredible. I mean, he, he came up with this. I'm not going to argue with him. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be watching. And you know what's going to happen or what I'm going to do if this passes? I'm going to send him. Thank you. That was awesome. Beautiful study. Let's keep searching because that's what we do. We keep searching. We keep trying to figure it out. We actually work together on this stuff. So I did a little check. Check that out. So Eastern Standard Time for me, it's 1053 a.m. in the morning. He says this is the last 726 that will appear in 2023. On November the 11th. This is the last one in 2023. 10.53 a.m. my time is uh, 4.53 p.m. Israel's time. 11 minutes earlier is when the sun goes down in Israel. If that said 4.53 
Did I say that right? Yeah. If that said 4.53 p.m., um, it'd be right on the money. But it's 11 minutes difference. Did I make that 11 minutes happen? Did I make it happen on November the 11th? 11-11? 11, 11, 11 minutes off? No. It just It just keeps happening, right? And that's the end of it right there. So go go uh, subscribe to uh, uh, Dr. Charles. Uh, sorry, Dr. Chris Zimmer's YouTube, and he he he'll walk you through this how he comes up with that time, and uh, just love his research. Very small channel. We could boost his channel. He's had 2,600 views on this, which isn't too bad for a small channel like that. But it, I guess I've watched it several times to try to. Uh, understand where he's going but the, i mean he, we need to get his subscribership up there's something like this needs to make it through the rapture in the event that uh, it actually does happen and then others will have a basis for when they're supposed to start watching because the saints i'll tell you what every single person that makes light of this rapture and you're wrong yeah captain obvious we're still here yes we're wrong I'm not frustrated with it. I'm not frustrated with the person making the comment. I know who you are, and I know that, and I pray for you because I know at the moment the rapture occurs that you're going to be just, where does that guy live? I need to go to his house and get his notes. Hey, I know. Maybe I'll just go on YouTube and look at all of his notes, and they will be the biggest researchers the world has ever seen. They will receive a double portion. They will just try to figure this out. They're here with us. They're saints, not mad at them. They don't believe in any of this. They scoff and laugh. It's fine. They outnumber us, I think, 10 to 1. I mean, there's there's a lot of them. But they are going to become, as long as they've heard you say, when you see me go, they're going to start searching like nobody's business, and they're going to be pouring over all this information. And the, And that's, you know, that's why we do this. I don't do this. I don't do this for the bride. The bride's here watching, going, yeah, that could be it. Oh, that's so exciting. And they're very supportive. You can tell who they are. Uh, I do this for the saints because there's going to come a moment where you're going to need all this information from all of us. And we all hold a piece of the puzzle. So we just all trying to get our piece of the puzzle put in there so that we can see the bigger picture. And that's exactly what you I think the puzzle is going to be taken apart. But you're going to understand the puzzle better than we do. And you can be able to reassemble it a lot better than us. So here's to hoping and praying that tomorrow morning at 10.53, that's like 14 hours. From, yeah, that's like 14 hours from now. I'm so ready to go. <laughs> Let me write this on my calendar. Make sure I'm not doing anything on that moment. I'm so ready to go. And I've been watching for so, so many years. but. Nothing's ever stopped me. I've never, uh, I mean, I've, I've been like, oh, man, I don't know. I don't understand. There's, I, I don't, you know, but the Holy Spirit keeps guiding us, doesn't he? The Holy Spirit just keeps coming in and says, hey, check this out. And then we start investigating and seeing why <clears throat> the numbers match to it, too. So anyway, um, you want to become a bride? Start watching. Start researching. Start going through this and try to contribute to this. Support Israel, 110%. Just support them. Yeah, but I don't want to hear it. You attack them, now you're in trouble. End of it. Support Israel. And uh, know that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. God Almighty in the flesh came here, died on a cross, rose after three days, and paid the penalty for your sins and mine. Know that. Just know that. And we spend so much time, not me, but most people spend so much tr time trying to make salvation difficult. And it's the easiest thing in the universe. It literally is easier than picking up my glasses. It's easier than that. It's just confessing that Jesus Christ is God. It's that simple. Don't let anybody get into your head and say, oh, there's, there's so much more than that. You can't just say it. You don't get saved by words. You don't. You get saved by what's going on in your heart. And if you're feeling that call, it's an altar call. I guess call it an altar call. Call it whatever you want. But if you're feeling that call, 
listen to it. That's the Holy Spirit on the outside, knocking, wanting to come in. And as soon as you accept him, he's in you. Whatever's in you begins to go out of you because they can't stay in there together. Evil and good can't stay in there together. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let's watch tomorrow morning and uh, pray this is it. Hopefully this is it. Commander Kelly has worked out the Psalms. Did such an incredible job working out the Psalms. This is the year. He says, this is the year. I didn't, I've never worked out the Psalms like he did. I just know when things are happening. I don't know, you know, like the Psalms like he does. And he says, it has to happen in 2023. 2023 ends in 50 days. Um, 5783, they didn't turn time back. They changed it in September. Can't change it in September. It does not change until March. It's still 5783 until March 17th. On March 17th, it is Rosh Hashanah. It's the new year. And that is 125 days from now. So we still have time. We still have time. 2023 is Psalms. See, I think it's Psalms is talking to the Gregorian calendar, honestly, and not because 5783 is still a three. And, and actually, it's 5993. It's not 5994 until March. So 5993. You can still line it up with the Psalms as well. And uh, but I still think God is looking at the Gregorian uh, calendar simply because way back when was it back in the 80s? Uh, the, in the Psalms, it says, and he took his shoe off and he threw it at the leader or something. And wouldn't you know it? It happened in that Psalms in that correct year. And if you count from that correct year to right now, we're in the right time because the very next Psalm that's happening for four, 2024, 5784, 5994, depending on which one you want to use, they're all the same, except for when they change. Excuse me. Um, the next thing that happens is Israel will defeat their enemies in that Psalms, and God will intervene and defeat their enemies for them. So that has to happen after we leave. None of this. No seals can be opened while we're here. No horse. We don't see any horses riding anywhere yet. It hasn't started happening yet. They're, they're, they're waiting. They're waiting until that first seal is open. We're there to witness the first seal being opened. We're not going when bombs drop. That's not, that's not a true statement. We are going when the, we're going and then we're going to see the first seal open and then the bombs are going to drop. I think America is going to be pretty wiped out uh, right after the rapture. So, all right. I think I said everything. Have a wonderful evening. We'll hopefully chat with you next time in heaven. See you there. See you on the other side.